Greetings and welcome to SOAR Scientific Space Program Episode 7, where we are continuing our journey towards EVE. First thing we're going to do is a correction burn to bring ourselves on the same inclination as EVE. And after that we are going to go there. Just need to make sure the fuel flows right. So we got an improved encounter and um, I made the decision here to not launch any more spacecraft because I figured we have enough with what we have already launched to do well the rest of the tech tree. We have several missions that have not arrived and one that has yet to return and this one on top of that which is going to bring a lot of science from two worlds. So we're doing the final adjustment here 24 hours before we enter the SOI as we usually do. So now we time warp to get in there. First one last check of the instruments in solar orbit and the transmission equipment of course. And uh, yeah, now we enter EVE's sphere of influence and uh, let the science spam begin, I say. Or you rather, first we need to correct our periaps for aero capture and do some science. And we are going to try to do as, to gain as much science as possible from each of the biomes we pass through to you know complete the tech tree and. Uh, with the solar panels we have, this is not a problem. And you can see the craft is wobbling a bit. I don't know why. Something with the ASAS system. And another annoying thing is that I don't have enough batteries to transmit all the science. Okay, well, there's a lot of science. So, you know, it's gotta stand around a bit and get the solar power. But now, for entry and braking. Gonna try to keep the craft straight. Nope, that didn't work. Nope. Because we don't really do not want to go too low in the atmosphere and lose too much speed. So it's a good idea to keep the rocket pointed in the right way so you can give it a boost should it be needed. But we're just gonna have to trust it this time. So I'm trying to do scientific measurements of the Eve's atmosphere, but no such luck, only able to get measurements of uh, space near EVE and we can get plenty of that while in a stable orbit and not having to worry about uh, re-entry effects and such. So we're just gonna do that you know soon when we have the proper time after we circularize. And again we need to make sure that the fuel flow is correct because we are not separating these stages with a decoupler just a docking port so we can reassemble the craft after we have a couple of things, but it also means the fuel flow is sometimes weird, so we need to correct that. Now this nuclear engine has very much delta V, given only this small fuel tank, and I think it's because we have only that one relatively small fuel tank that we can get so much delta V from this one stage. And now we're going to use uh, some more of this delta V to get to Gilip. We're not going to land on EVE, we are going to send a surface probe to EVE, should it be needed. But we are first going to bring that probe to Gilly to take all the scientific measurements out there first. Because once we ditch the probe down into to the EVE surface, we can't get it back. And it carries you know, a lot of the scientific instruments we are bringing in this, on this journey. So, more science. We did a lot of science in low EVE orbit, I cut that away, and we did a lot of science in high EVE orbit, which I also cut away, and now we're going to do a lot of science in orbiting Gilly, which we have arrived at. So, I plan a maneuver. You're going to need very little delta V to circularize here, unsurprisingly, given the gravity of the situation. So we gather some science in high gilly orbit and the circularize, almost. Yeah, it's uh, like 10 meters per second difference between escaping and having a elliptic orbit. So here we are, and we are gonna science spam until we run out of science to spam. Again, taking full effect of the sun's rays because otherwise this isn't gonna work. And here you see, well, you saw 
the wobbling of the spacecraft even more clearly. So we have done an orbit around Gilly, taking all the science we can from space high over Gilly. So now we're going to get a little closer. We're gonna land and uh, it was around here that I realized uh, I didn't plan, well I planned this the construction of the spacecraft separately from the mission it was going to do. So uh, the plan originally was to dump the probe, the top atmospheric probe to, to EVE and then go out to Gilly and uh, undock from the nuclear stage and then redock with the nuclear stage in orbit. You know, sort of an Apollo style mission. But since I'm bringing the probe, I cannot redock and thus I can't detach the nuclear stage. So we're just gonna have to land the whole thing. This is Gilly, it should, should work, shouldn't be a problem at all. Landing on a nuclear engine, this, I mean, it's nothing we have, haven't done before. Coming in on a bit of a slope here, and we're moving rather fast for having zero bit per second, because I'm in orbit mode. So we need to switch to surface mode, and uh, just bring it down. Very, very, you know, not very challenging. This is Gilly, it has half of a percent of the gravity of Kerbin, so even standing this craft upright in the slope is not a problem. So let's uh, get outside, stretch our legs. And, oh, no, what are you doing? Uh, no, 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 no! <laughs> oh, you fool! Yeah, you, you, I bet you thought that was really funny. Uh, just gonna have to check now that you didn't tip the spacecraft over. Well, it's okay. No thanks to you. Yeah, yeah, you thought that was hilarious, didn't you? Oh, okay, so apparently walking doesn't work on Gilly. You, you just end up in a suborbital trajectory. Luckily we have the jetpacks. So let's plant a flag. That's important. Gilly landing site. Uh, but is this a landing or is it a docking? Questions worth asking. Okay, you can't even walk uphill up here. Uh, very well, let's just uh, take the science. <laughs> yeah, he's really enjoying this. And get back to the spacecraft to call home and uh, do all the gilly surface science we possibly can. No, don't tip it. Here we go. Good. Now, just keep, keep spamming science until science is further spanned, which is now. And now we are going to do a suborbital hop so that we can access the biome of space near Gilly. So we're just going to do this hop and it's going to take quite a while given again the extremely low gravity of this world. So on our way coming back down we are going to redo the landing just a few hundred meters from the original landing site. Again, we're having good use of our lamp and not this time the radar altimeter. So again, doing the final adjustments coming down with RCS and done. Now let's see what we can unlock using this new information. We are unlocking the advanced power generation and RTGs and actually it looks like we can unlock most of the tech tree. Well, not all of it. We are, yeah, we, we are short two techs. Which is good, because it gives us something to do next time. Bye!